Uh, so that's how my night ended last night. So, you know, I did have some motivation to get back on Black Ops 1 and try for that uh, L96 multi, but I think I'm done with that for right now, at least. This also may or may not come as a, a big surprise to you guys, but uh, that kind of thing happens to me a lot when I play video games. Like on PC, console, it doesn't matter. He didn't even fucking see me. Wow, dude, I'm already getting sprayed at. What the fuck? What have I joined into? This guy just not, he just started spraying through the wall immediately. Oh no. Yeah, that's right. Uh, the last time I joined the Nameless Noobs terminal server, I had a pretty god awful time. See, now instead of playing Black Ops 1, I felt like getting on MW2 here onto my W4X, and I wanted to make a video on Lasko's server, but no one's on the server. This guy really just fucking snaked me on MW2. Well, not really. He just drop shot it and sprayed me. Okay, so recording for like two minutes. I'm going 1 in 12 already. And they got a Harrier and a Pavlo. Yeah, no, I'm out of here. Honestly, though, at this point in time, I feel like I should just uh, stay away from the terminal server. I'll go ahead and I'll join the Nuketown server again because uh, last time I hit that wall bang multi. Well, it wasn't a multi. It was like back to back double kills. It should have been a multi, though. And I joined into this game and we're getting destroyed. What the fuck, man? Yo, the top guy on my team, Red Nose, is going 35 and 88. And then and on the other team, it's 86 and 17, 62 to 23, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, so, uh, once again, though, I thought that getting on this game wouldn't be a bad time, and, dude, really was a Barrett spray necessary. We got fucking destroyed. Oh my goodness. What is Modern Warfare 2 today? All right, so now, off the topic of, uh, getting completely obliterated the minute I get on this game, there was something that I was going to mention, like, as far as, like, the L96 multi goes, and it's kind of depressing because I watch all of these other players, like, uh, players across all platforms being, like, console and PC and everything like that. That, like they can just get on games and hit clips almost immediately well especially on pc in this case see like for a perfect example though i'm still pissed off at kerpai because he got on black ops 1 after like two weeks or something like that basically he hadn't played the game in over two weeks and within like the first two minutes of being on black ops 1 he hit an l96 multi except then again though i really should not be comparing myself to kerpai by any means because he is just a fucking god still the fact of the matter is people can just get on these games hit all sorts of clips and i sit here playing for hours and i just don't hit shit so you know for me on the other hand though it's exactly like the fail that i showed you guys right at the start of the video. I mean, like, I play for hours and that's exactly what happens to me for a majority of the time. Oh, Jesus, I haven't used these things in a long time. The good old classic Akembo models. Oh, no. All right, I haven't used these things on IW4X or, like, any correct version of MW2, so are these, like, pre-patch models? Okay, yeah, yeah, they're definitely not pre-patched. I think the back-to-back-to-back -back -back hit markers I got right there kind of answered my question. See, now that I'm thinking about it, though, those 2009 models were fucking disgusting. Oh my god. Every MW2 game you got into, somebody was using them. Ooh, no scope collateral. That was kind of cool. Another no scope collateral, all right. Yeah, now this has turned into a complete clusterfuck because now they got Harriers and it's a four on eight. Yo, what is this team balance? Hello? Are you fucking serious? Now they got an AC-130. I hate my life. Oh my god, dude. Please, shoot the fucking AC down. Yeah, Modern Warfare 2 today is off to a very rocky start. Alright, dude, this is just getting fucking sad. They got another Pavlo and another Harrier. God bless. So anyways, guys, besides the fact that I've been getting completely destroyed on MW2 so far, there were two other things that I did want to uh, go ahead and talk with you guys about. Uh, the first thing that I wanted to mention was yesterday's video and how I was talking about that I had that job interview. And honestly, at this point in time, if you guys didn't see my tweet about it already, I'm pretty sure I've gotten the job because the manager told me that there is a orientation tomorrow on Saturday starting at 9 a.m. She told me what to wear so I'm pretty sure that means that I've gotten the job and honestly I really don't feel like getting destroyed on Nuketown anymore so I think I'm just gonna disconnect out of there yeah so also now I'm not entirely sure like how long the orientation is going to be but I'm just gonna go ahead and make a video in advance for tomorrow as well okay that's search and destroy I'm not gonna join that uh, alpha gamers TDM maps all day high rise okay all right that's fine yo what is this HUD this looks pretty fun fucking cool to toggle alpha boost what's that uh, that no wrong thing it was just press three to turn on four right it said alpha boost so i thought it was something else okay never mind but yo look at the kill feed look at the hud on this thing this looks kind of cool it's like a very light blue neon type shit i fuck with this so once again though as far as tomorrow goes i'm really excited for the start of a new job but also at the same time i still am pretty nervous for everything i really just can't stress it enough like i really really hope that uh, this all goes well
That's actually fucking disgusting. <sighs> Guys, we're gonna get fucking nuked. Hello, please. Can I get some help with this? Alright, seriously, bro. This is just getting fucking pathetic. They got another Pavlo and more Harriers. I really wasn't saying a whole lot throughout the course of that game, but yo, today on Modern Warfare 2 has been just pure destruction. Alright, so also now, according to this article, I think I talked about this in a video recently. I'm not sure, like, how long ago it was, but uh, apparently Modern Warfare Remastered is finally supposed to be uh, starting to be sold separately from Infinite Warfare. And also, apparently, it's supposed to happen the same day as... Uh, when PS4 starts this on June 27th. So now I'm not entirely sure if that means that uh, the Modern Warfare Remastered PC population is going to increase by any means. I highly doubt that. It's far too late for this shit. See, but at the same time, though, it really does make me want to play MWR right now, and I know that if I were to upload it to YouTube, it just doesn't go over very well, which is also kind of depressing to me because I genuinely love that game. I think I had tweeted this out also a couple of days ago saying that I just genuinely enjoy the game, and then I got some people saying back, Mike, I fucking hate that game. It's trash. See, now, not by any means am I saying that it's better than the original COD for. I just genuinely enjoy the game. Even so, as of recent, I've got Twitter headers and YouTube banners remade for Modern Warfare Remastered and everything. It just looks so cool. Speaking of which, real quick though, I just wanted to give a shout out to Mozivo. At least I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. He had just made me this brand new Modern Warfare Remastered rebrand. It's all pink and shit. It looks fucking cool. And just as a thank you to him, I'm gonna go ahead and leave his Twitter at and YouTube in the description below if you guys want to go check him out. So though, going back to what I was saying though, I just really wish that Modern Warfare Remastered was uh, still really popular as far as like ratings go on YouTube. I know like the hype died around it really quick, and it's really upsetting to me. So I don't know, though. Like, maybe in the near future... Hold on, there's a lot of people back here. That nah, doesn't matter. So once again, though, maybe in the near future, I'll go back and play some MWR on PC. Well, that is if you guys would like me to. I'm not entirely sure if I would do it anytime soon, though, but I feel like it would be kind of fun to go back to it after, like, what, two or three months after I've had the game uninstalled? You know, dude, honestly, at this point in time, this kind of thing really doesn't even surprise me. Was that a teammate behind me that wasn't even affected by it? I mean, like, seriously, though, getting blown up by smaws and RPGs and all sorts of other shit, it doesn't even surprise me anymore. I think I've had enough Modern Warfare 2 for the day.